Uni announces the M6 and M6 Plus in China. Amazon introduces Pi membership for users in India. And Me Notebook gets leaked and much more today's daily. This is day 208 of 2016 and you're watching Phone Arena Daily, your everyday fix of technology news. Juni announced two new fablets today called the M6 and M6 Plus. Both these smartphones are powered by the Helio P10 processor from MediaTek and they also have 4GB of RAM as well as 64GB and 128GB of onboard storage. They can further be expanded using microSD cards in the form of a dedicated microSD card slot. But what's different about these devices is mainly the screen size. The M6 comes with a 5.5-inch 1080p display while the M6 Plus comes with a 6-inch 1080p display. Apart from that, there's also a difference in the primary camera. While while the M6 has a 13 megapixel camera, the M6 Plus basically has a 16 megapixel camera, while both of them have an 8 megapixel camera up front. Both the devices also have a fingerprint sensor, dual SIM capabilities, and also come with 4G LTE support. The M6 comes with a 5000 mAh battery, while the M6 Plus comes with a 6020 mAh battery. The device M6 Plus also lacks a 3.5mm audio jack, while the M6 has one. Both the devices are currently up for pre-order and will go on sale in China starting from 13th August. You can take a look at the different specifications and the different variants in the link in the description below. Amazon is now offering a free 60-day trial for the Prime membership and users can then opt for it at a special discounted rate of Rs 499 which is available for a limited period. After this limited period, the Prime membership will cost you Rs 999 but Amazon mentioned that this will also include the Amazon Video Prime service that will give you access to different series as well as Amazon exclusives and Amazon will be going head to head with Flipkart's own Flipkart first service that is available at a price of Rs 500 for a year membership. Sony has just launched the Xperia XA Ultra smartphone in India that has a 16 megapixel camera up front with optical image stabilization as well as a 21.5 megapixel camera at the back that has a 1x2.4 inch sensor. It has a 6 inch 1080p display along with a Helio P10 MediaTek processor as well as 3GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage that can further be expanded by 200GB using microSD cards. It has dual SIM capabilities and it also comes with a 2700mAh battery under the hood. The device is priced at Rs 29,990 and will be available in white, black and lime gold versions. Xiaomi has already confirmed that the upcoming Redmi Pro smartphone will be powered by the MediaTek Helio X25 processor and will also have dual cameras as well as an OLED display. Now a new teaser image posted by Lei Jun who is the CEO of Xiaomi showcases the smartphone in his hands with the dual camera setup as well. Apart from that, we also got a sneak peek at the upcoming Xiaomi Mi Notebook which features a USB Type-C port as well as a Chrome construction and should come in two different variants. You can get full details regarding the different specifications and the pricing of the Mi Notebook in the link in the description below. So today's deal of the day is basically an offer on Logitech set of accessories that is available exclusively to Amazon Prime members and is available in the link in the description below. Since Amazon Prime membership is currently available free of cost, we advise users to opt in for this and can cancel later on if they feel that it's unnecessary. Phone Arena is excited to announce that we are partnering again with Nextbit in order to announce the next series of meetups for the Nextbit Robin. Additionally, you will be able to meet members from both Phone Arena as well as Nextbit teams and we will also be showcasing a brand new variant of the Nextbit Robin at the said events. The events will be taking place in Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai as well as Bangalore and you can check the link in the description below to RSVP for any of the events. So that brings us to the point of today's discussion. What do you guys think about Amazon Prime and the Amazon Prime membership? Do you think that it's something that's useful and have you already used it in some other country, for example, the USA? Do you think that you will subscribe to this once the free membership also ends? Do let us know in the comment section below and see you again tomorrow with more technological news.